Welcome back. We are talking to Krista Tibia about health and wellness. Krista, you also mentioned that you do neuro coaching. Yes. Tell us what do you do exactly? Neuro coaching is just an extension of life coaching. When a patient gets diagnosed with um, some form of dementia like Alzheimer's or um, uh, Parkinson's disease or fibromyalgia, then there's normally a reaction because it's such a shock for that person yes. to hear the news. Yes. And sometimes they don't know how to cope with that and especially with family members involved as well. Because many times you will see that a family member will bring the patient because they don't want to face the news alone. Yes. So in that then I work very closely with the healthcare practitioner diagnosing the patient in that area okay. and then the patient will come and see me and we will work out a plan how to go forward from here and how to cope with the situation at hand because it's not always easy to hear a diagnosis like that for yeah. yourself. And tell me, are you, are you specific working with a specific gender? No, because, you know, we all need help yes. sometimes. Yeah. And it's not gen gender based at all, no. At the moment, are you running any sessions? What I do at the moment, I don't run group sessions because each patient or each client is an individual and each one's needs are different. So if you look at a group setting, um, let's say you have a whole lot of ladies together in that group of ladies let's say it's five yes five ladies will not have the same needs weight wise yes or three people might not have the same need um, in life coaching so it's it's difficult to sit with a group of people yes. if it's not in a workshop yeah. workshops are different but sessions most of my sessions with um, clients are one-on-one -on -one sessions even the weight loss Okay, and they can have that uh, person one-on-one? -on -one. Yes, I see them one-on-one, -on -one. we book a time. With the wellness, it's the same um, person every week, same time. So there can't be confusion with who, who's coming and who's going. So it's the same, I always tell my weight loss um, clients, same place, same time, same clothes. So that we don't need to worry about what the scale says. We just look at the overall wellness and it's not always just to say the numbers on the scale yeah. because the numbers on the scale is just the numbers on the scale yes. we need to look at a diverse holistic wellness approach yeah. when we look at yeah wellness. and I like this one-on-one -on -one because sometimes a lot of people can yes. talk in like a group of people yeah yeah and tell us about your journey from uh, where you come from to where mm -hmm. you are now? Yeah, my journey is quite interesting. Um, I've always been overweight. Okay. I've always had my own weight issues. And in that, at the beginning of each year, we go for certain assessments, health assessments, that medical aids sometimes ask yes, for. Yes, yes. So in the beginning of last year, my husband and I went as usual and um, when it got to all the, the sugar tests and the weight and whatever i stood on the scale and i got a fright and i thought okay well i can go past this this is justifiable many reasons i had hysterectomy and um, some hormone challenges so that justifies the number on the scale yeah and then we got to the glucose test and then the cholesterol test and this is where the wheels came off the bus. Yeah. When my cholesterol was tested, the nurse had to do it twice because she thought that there could have been a problem with the test that she was doing. And the second test was exactly the same as the first. So yeah. my cholesterol spiked up to 9.2. I was advised to go see a doctor and um, I was diagnosed with hypercholesterolemia. Now cholesterol has two aspects. It it has the HDL and the LDL. The HDL is the good cholesterol and the LDL is the bad cholesterol. Now my bad cholesterol was the one that was too high. So my healthcare practitioner said to me one or two choices as I said to you earlier. 
it's either a lifestyle change or I face the possibility of a stroke. Sure. So it was actually easy to make the choice. Yes. It was hard to start, but I embarked this journey. And um, halfway through last year, I lost 10 kilos. And my cholesterol came down to 7.2 without statins. So statins, it shows that it was because of the weight that you were in a state that you were in? Not necessarily. Weight okay. and right eating oh, plays okay. a role because together. the two work together. Yes. If you look at a pie, 100% yes. of the pie is the full wellness. Yes. Now, weight loss or exercise is only 20%. Yes of this pie. The rest of the pie is right eating. Yes. So okay. we can't have a hundred percent of the pie if we only exercise. We also can't have a hundred percent of the pie if we only eat right. So at the end of the day we need both to full to make sure yes. that we have the full potential of what we can reach. And um, by the end of last year, I've reached my goal and I lost 22 kilos. That's amazing. And my, my cholesterol also came down to 6.2, which I was very thankful for. So beginning of this year, um, we went for the same screening tests, the glucose, the cholesterol, the weight, and I was ready. And my cholesterol is still not where it should be, okay. but it's on 5.4 and that happened without chronic medication, without statin. So I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful that I could go on this journey and embark what I had to do and That's make amazing. the changes. Yeah. So through all of this, it wasn't always easy. Yes. I cried many days, many days I wanted to throw in the towel, but I just knew I'm not doing this just for me because I've got two children and a husband. So, and I cannot leave this planet now because I'm going to lose them. And you had to be like, dedicated and you had have to be, be disciplined. through that, yes. And you do uh, wellness uh, and coaching and you also do life coaching. What yes. is the difference between the two? Wellness coaching fo focuses much more on the well-being of a person's physical body. So that's exercise and right eating. Um, Life coaching focuses more on the psychological part and our soul part, there where okay. we make decisions, where we learn to disagree and agree, and where we need to make decisions to go forward in life. So you can be in a wheelchair and come for um, life coaching, yes. but you can also be on the way, on the mend health-wise, and also attend the life coaching session. So you accommodate quite a lot of people. Yes, I do. Mm. Yeah. We're going on a break. When we come back, we're going to hear more from Krista. Please don't go away. Mm.